We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's so humid you can drink the air. You know what? You can drink the air, Grim. I'll stick with my cough syrup and scotch with a beer chaser, thank you. All right, the subject. Anyone seen my airplane blue or the cream? Now, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Los Scandalous Volts take on the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Hot one, hot two, hot. 
and this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novak. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Yeah. And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. down and long. And that pass play is good for eight yards. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Catch and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and eight to go. Hot, hot one. Two, the quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now.
That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. Second down and more than the QB would like. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. No, oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Third down and three. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Boom! First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. That pass was good for ten yards. Second down and in inches. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Much like my 
Thanksgiving night, there was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. And it looks like the... And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. And the ref somehow escapes the onslaught. Here comes the penalty. Man, these guys have... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Hook returners in this league. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the NFL. Third down and, well, good luck. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me! And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, three. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. 
And that'll be their final timeout. Third down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He just wrestles away from that tackle. Quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Intercepted. Second down and ten. No man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate And Sonic Blast gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to 
to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and seven. Running like a and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh boy. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot two. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. I won't even get out of Third down and six. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. A great run for a nine yard game. Bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And this guy has quite the female following. Listen to them. Yeah, they all want to jump his bones. I wish the middle linebacker would have jumped his bones. I just lost a sawbuck on that play. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, oh he did not see that coming. And it's 
It's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down and a lot. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Hey, See, that's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopping time. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and nine. a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, man, he really wants it. And the defense was caught with their pants around their ankles. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that 
was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> you know, the comments after last week's game were blowing up on Shitter. Trinic said he should shut up or blow up. You know, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. And he scores! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those power and green, like a haiku! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's 
first and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. Second down in a mile. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, tap off my drink. When they do that. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just gotta sweep off the chart behind the outside just for offense, Grim. Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Third down and six. today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Well, that's a lovely thing for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. You can't keep a good mutant. And that is one big first down. The QB needs to stop kissing his linemen and get back to the line of... And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they... And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. The 
Walters walk away victorious today. It was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I pay for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, wicked. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.